happy new moon to everybody good morning good afternoon and good evening your time welcome to news and details tv welcome our new members to the old ones we love you guys as you're supporting us may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news and details guys do us a favor if you haven't hit that red button that says subscribe the bell that says all the answers you get to know when we upload new video guys <laughs> let us take the news the way it is and the news reads, Nigerian witches and wizards endorsed Tinubu's inauguration. Yes, you heard me right. Ask Nigerians to pray for her to live long. The White Witches and Wizards Association of Nigeria has endorsed the forthcoming inauguration on May 29th. The group which disclosed that they will provide about 300 witches and wizards to ensure no harm comes Tinubu's way urged Nigerians to pray for the president-elect Bola Tinubu to have good health and long life. Spokesman of the group, Okehu, who assured Tinubu that they are cleansing and detoxifying the Abuja environment for him to operate, stated that they have been unhappy with how politicians have conducted themselves since Tinubu was announced as the winner of the February 25th presidential poll. Okehi said, We welcome Tinubu back to the country. Recall that Tinubu emerged the winner at our group's spiritual presidential election held about two months ago before the February 25th presidential election. Now we have reviewed the valid developments in the country. We urge the aggrieved parties to give peace a chance because restoring to self-help would do more harm than good to the polity. There is no reason for Tinubu to be afraid because all the campaigns of a clammy mounted against him are mere distractions. We are currently cleansing and detoxifying the Abuja environment where Tinubu will operate from. What Tinubu needs now is prayers of good health and long life from all Nigerians so he could deliver on his renewed hope promise for a better life for all. You heard it guys, right? <laughs> the witches and wizard has endorsed him. Let us quickly take some reactions from some Nigerians. Now the kind things where Gofit endorse him, of course, he's their representatives, but God no go shima, somebody said. Last, last, even witches believe in prayers. Did you hear when they said, let us pray for him, somebody says. Why principalities and powers of heavens are endorsing Peter will be, know your leader, back up, somebody says. So this is what politics has become in Nigeria. We are now winning and dying, we, we are now whining, pardon me, and dining with witches and wizards. It is audacity for me. Oh God, in you we trust, somebody says. Me, we be wizard. The matter never reach our table. Our big grandmaster don't collect Ghana must go for back, and that person says, Grandpa that is supposed to be enjoying his life relaxing is busy holding meetings with witches and wizards, but as long as our God lives in heaven, his mandates will surely stand. We hand over Nigeria, over to our Father in heaven. Only his mandate will stand in Jesus' name. Amen, somebody says. Now, Layo, where then do the meeting? Ah, uh, no, no, I am not aware of that one. Now, Layo, somebody says, if witches and wizard doesn't endorse a bat, who will? That's their very own. Open your eyes, somebody says. Imagine witches and wizard endorsing bat. We are not surprised, somebody says. See his colleagues in destiny, destruction. God save Nigeria, another person says. Nigerians, witches, and wizards make honor. They try emulate honor. Oyibo counterpart. They, they use their own powers, do better things. Honor, they use on their own, do wickedness. I bind on Asha, somebody says. So they know he won't live long. I'm not praying anything because make owner use owner witchcraft to give them long life and prosperity, another person says. 
Witches and wizards say we should pray. So last, last, devil don't agree, say God passed them. Thank God, though, another person says. How did you come up with these witches and wizards, if I may ask? Another person says, my advice to all Nigerian youths be, be say, don't allow this the brief this the pri pardon me this the primitive <laughs> takes place come may 29 we all must stand up against it because if we fall to do that we all go suffer messlessly for another eight years again or more power to the youth somebody says God bless Nigeria. Nothing actually says this man cannot be the best president awaiting to happen to Nigeria. God will strengthen whoever has, whosoever Nigerians has chosen. And that person says, I see we all last should check and thank God have the final say, period. Somebody says, when God favors you, even your enemies would be at peace with you. As demonic as the as demonic as the obed, as the obedient movement is, there is nothing they can not do but will. And they will they will and garnish their teeth for another eight years because the Nubu will be sworn in. He will govern well and suppress expectations. My only joy is Obi will never be president and we dodged a bullet. His ship will cry for years and that's God punishment for them. Wow. So we get the kind of witches and wizards for Nigeria and we never use and um, better the country. Right? Okay, guys. <laughs> When I saw this um, news, I was like, witches and wizard has already endorsed him. But what um, shocked me again is they're asking for prayers. And for those people that are saying that uh, um, obedient is the bullet uh, Nigerians dodge, they don't understand it. People are still uh, making it to be a tribal thing. No, let us put tribalistic and sentiment aside. The truth of the matter is a mandate was stolen and they are doing everything in their power to get it back. Let's watch as it unfolds. Let me know your thoughts in the section below. Please share out. Follow us if you haven't. News in details. Let me see us again. Bye-bye, guys.